Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. It is Recorder Mageddon 2 Electric Boogaloo. We are back once again on the grind playing once more and I want to play as the Punished. Do you know what? Punished Greed sounds like a laugh. Punished is a character that um, cannot fire. He can only move around and hatch little creatures from the earth below. Um, and yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun. I like him. I can't remember how we use that, his active again, though. Safety pin is meh. I don't think it really does much for us. We do start with a bomb, however, which is something quite tasty. I guess we just go for the bomb on there. Yeah, I think we just go for the bomb here. Pick out the Christmas pudding. We buy a key with that money. We check what's in here. Nothing much. And our item room gives us some absolute gold. Some absolute gold. Not really what I was hoping for. Um, does the sacrifice room have a specific pool? Let's find out. Cube of rock. Eh. <laughs> Not great. Okay. So now we've got a... Go and hop, hop, hop over to our little gaps in the ground. We can also use Liberation here, which will um, spawn more of the things. It's honestly, I think it's going to start off pretty fucking slow. Um, I don't think it's going to do much. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do much early on. But this thing can get kind of crazy. Also, don't like you being on top of a crack there, please. Oh god, things things are already proving to be rather difficult here. Oh my god. Oh god damn. That's a lot of enemies up there. The good thing is it does tell us where our uh, where our cracks are. They, they have like, the off-screen indicators. Sad side is I think I'm pr no probably not cut out for this uh this whole shebang. I still need that mod that like highlights them, puts like a little thing underneath them so you can see them easier. Because the cracks can blend in with all the viscera and gib. And flesh. Pretty darn well. To the point of being a bit obnoxious. Like I can't I can't see where my cracks are at all. I know one of them's here, but fuck to find out where the other one is. That's here, I see. But as we get tier rates up, we get more and more. Right. Good stuff, right. We definitely need to buy items in between here. Um, honestly, we're just gambling here. The Halo is actually pretty awesome. Fire rate is potentially pretty good. The rest of it's pretty good too. Okay, not too displeased about that. Let's go again. Yeah, the bosses are going to be rough. There's no way we're going to be killing the bosses in time. At least he only puts creep down now when he's angry. When he's doing his angry chase much all the time. Definitely need a lot more fire rates up to make this work. It's annoying that the liberation thing doesn't last between rounds. That would have made it really good, but... We can't win them all. I do have the ability to fire somewhat with my uh, my little red dude. If any cracks spawn up there with him, it's going to be real bad. Also, I'm not going to be able to see when he's doing his brimstone attack, so that's going to be rough. Spawning him up there, you fool. Ow. Okay, we got him. I think I'm going to go for Angel Deal here, but I kind of have to do this. Oh, that is an absolutely gross boss to be fighting right now. I, I, I dislike this boss at the best of times. In a situation where we have to constantly manically run around the room, I think this guy is going to be actually hell on earth. Because much of the room will be covered in fire. Oh, we do have three, uh, three boys out now. Three uh, potential cracks in the earth to play around with. Also, my fucking 
my, my, my ghosts don't know who the main target is and are just kind of going for whoever. Which means they're not targeting the boss when I want them to. Right, I'm definitely going to go Angel Deal with our current HP here. I'm sorry, Devil Deal. Um, and we are going to head down to the next floor. This is already proving to be a little bit saucy. But a hell of a lot of fun. Dad's key is pretty decent. It's not great, but it does save us some money in the long run. SpongeBob, me boy. I don't know how chocolate milk would work with this guy, but I have to just find out and see if there's some sort of synergy. I'm feeling like they won't be. Full red hearts and full soul hearts are both converted. To Ooh, that's pretty good because these would be three cent soul hearts then. That's probably pretty worthwhile. Yes, I don't know if chocolate milk is going to make a difference, but this guy does have a lot of synergies, so there's potential. I kind of had to buy it to try and also to see what was underneath it, but lesser problem. Yeah, the good thing is when the ghosts hit, they tick for damage multiple times, which means they can kill multi-phase enemies um, like that the, the spawn others. And they can do quite a lot of damage to a single enemy if the, all of the hits, t all, of, all of the ticks hit. I was trying to check. Yeah, Dad's key does open up doors for us on the wave that we use it, so we can use it to escape early without pressing the button, I guess. But other than that, I don't think it's that useful. Maybe, maybe we're finding secret rooms that might be kind of good. I don't know where my cracks are at all. There's one all the way over here. I have literally no idea where the second one is. Oh, it's literally under the button, that's why. Kind of annoying that that can happen, but we're going to have to just deal with that as it happens. Right. Good, good, good. Yeah, buy this because it's for one, cheap, but for two, it's going to be very good. Also... Inner eye, lower fire rate, but maybe does something. The lower fire rate could be terrible, but I feel like I have to try this. Like, if there isn't a synergy with this, I'm going to be real sad. Okay, no. It literally just spawns three on top of one another. I like that. I like that a lot. That's lovely. Because that, that's going to be really focused damage. And it also means it's... Although they're coming up slower, it's slightly less running around because we hit all three at once. I, I I much prefer this, actually. We definitely need more fire rate to go along with this. Because at the minute, when there's going to be multiple enemies on screen, this is kind of going to be awful. <laughs> but the damage output here is, is pretty awesome. Because you see, like, there's, what, there's, there's spiders on screen, but it didn't go for multiple spiders. It went for all went for one spider. Which means that this is slow going. But the ticks of damage, it's going to be really high. Where's my little thingy, my bob? Oh god, that was impossible to dodge. Where is it? I have literally no idea where my, uh... Oh, there it is. Just took your sweet ass time. We can use liberation on, on boss waves like this so that the, the cracks appear instantly after uh, touching them. Although now they appear separated, which is not great. Oh, but didn't see you there that scared the shit out of me. Oh, this this is this is nightmare fuel, this is. This is really, really hard for me to dodge any damage. Oh my god. I hate this. I can't dodge these guys at all. This is really rough. I mean they're dying quickly, but that was rough. Angel deal sets damage to seven. Um, that's actually really good right now. That's a pretty beefy damage up. Um, we could buy the bombs. Not that interesting, really. It's pretty cheap, though. And yeah, I'll take it because bombs can be pretty good. 2020, please give us a penny here. Damn you, game. Please give us a penny here. Damn you, game. Please give us a penny here. Damn you, game. I need a single penny. Is anyone selling one penny? Uh, I'm gambling. I'm gambling. I'm gambling. Yes. Okay. Big gambles, but 2020 
Seems like a good shout when we already have a uh, triple shot. <laughs> it seems pretty interesting to me. Uh, I might not live very long, considering I've got... Oh, for God's sake, there was a penny right there. Considering I've uh, got a uh, rotten heart here and not that much health going on. But I can afford to buy a lot of HP when it becomes available, so... Ugh. Not, not good at all for us. Soul Heart at the start of each level, that's actually fantastic. And a heart container is really good too. Okay, these all appeared all over the place. Okay, this is good. There are, there are cracks all over the place. Some of them are multiplied, some of them aren't. This is... This is very, very good. Oh my god, okay. We have something going on right now. This is ludicrously good. There's just cracks fucking everywhere. And every now and again somewhere there's a triple crack. Or a few triple cracks, okay. This is... This is so good. Basically I feel like all we need now is HP and we have absolutely got this in the bag. Shop-wise here, really not a good shop. Um, bar of Soap. Bar of Soap is tears up, so I'm going to take that because that could be pretty beneficial for getting more thingies out on the board. What does this do again? Morbid Heart, that's not great. Placebo Pill? Eh. Oh my god, that damage. Holy hell. Also, a green version of this guy is brutal. But god damn, is he fucked. <laughs> Please give us Angel Deal here. Please give us the Angel Deal we need. I was expecting to get hit in this bit quite a bit, but there you go. Yes, Angel Deal once again. This is kind of interesting, because Pride Pin is very, very good, but I actually don't think it's very worth taking, because I'm pretty sure they won't have Synergy, whereas this will give us Locusts. Right, then we go back up here, and we just buy a few of these. Oh, wait, no. That was a really bad idea because they're not actually counting as soul hearts right now. What a waste of money. Oh, well. Um, we go. We go. This is such a fun build so far. Glitter bombs. Don't mind if I do. The box actually isn't terrible because it gives us a trinket. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a good trinket. Chariot. Intriguing. Um, car battery would be a lot of fun. That's a golden thingy penny that only procced once. Wow. I just take the damage. That's probably a pretty big damage up there. Right. Let's get back on this. Oh, God. That was a really bad hit by me there. I think I'm taking full heart damage at wound level now as well. Or maybe it was just that enemy, but still... Got to be somewhat vigilant here. The good thing is as well, you can see the explosions from the ghosts actually nullify some shots from enemies as well, which is real nice. Creep is definitely going to be a problem here. Oh god, that was... Somewhat close. I didn't see that guy there. At least we got the brimstone from off-screen indicators telling us what to do. Oh, I still fucking fucked it up. Didn't mean to start that, but we already have now, so it is what it is. Another really annoying boss here. We should get absolutely beefed on. I do liberation here. 
Liberation isn't super useful in this mode, but it's got its uses here and there. Oh my god, actually, it's kind of cracked right now. Right, away we go. You are dead. Bested and breasted. Right, um, I think this is good. I think this should give us damage up. Yeah, pretty big damage up. Nice. Um, chariot. We've got some pills here. Let's take the pills. Speed down. I do, I do not like. Black heart's kind of nice here. Right. To do this thing. Liberation's probably a good idea right here, because this will accelerate the amount of things we're getting by a heavy amount, I would think. Ooh, probably gonna take some damage here. My goddamn things aren't grouping. I'm not getting the big chunkies right now, I don't know why separating them all out and it's making it a lot harder to not get hit. The one dead. Oh, you bitch, you just teleported onto me. I didn't even realize you could move. This 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 fight's harder. This fight's definitely harder. There you go. You're dead there. Another angel deal, that's awesome. Probably Circle of Protection's the better of the two there. And we are aware. Convert one heart container to a burn heart. Is that good? Eh. Maybe not. New Pebbles, decent. Maybe it's not good, but I've done it now. Lanky Mushroom. Damage tier... Oh, tier's down. 50% taller and 25% thinner. That's kind of funny. I kind of want to take that just to see what that's like, but the tier's down does scare me a little bit. I want to take it. <laughs> I'm a wide boy. I kind of love that. I don't like the tears down, but it's 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 worth it for the funny. It is worth it for the funny. Oh god, there's a lot of shit going on in this room right now. One second, my alarm's going off telling me to upload. You can't tell me what to do. I answer to no man, even though that man is me. I got a key, somehow. I'll be honest, I don't know why or how I got a key, but I got a key. Was that enemy a champion? Because if they were, they shouldn't have been dropping stuff. Did it somehow trigger a glitter bomb? Because if so, how is it the first time that's happened? I, I, I genuinely... I have so many questions. Look at this little pile of shit going on up here. Oh god, that was a that was a mighty fine whip, my good guy. Right. Definitely grab that. Definitely grab that. Tier is up to an outstanding level right now. Okay, you've, you've managed to hurt yourself pretty significantly already, so I commend you for that. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass because he has so many minions that he's going to be... Okay, I was going to say he's going to be escaping getting hit quite a lot, but he just kind of put an end to that theory that I had there and kind of destroyed himself. Liberation. What 
the hell? Where are all these guys come from? There's so many of them. What the what the shit's this? I can't kill all these guys. Where's all my cracks? I'm all out of crack. <laughs> my curse looks so funny when it's like tall and thin like this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not particularly a big fan of this this boss fight we got going on right now. I'm struggling. Also, my cracks aren't appearing as they should be. Liberation seems to re reduce the spawn rate of the cracks pretty significantly, which I'm not liking. Which is, is what, not what it should be doing. Ow. We got a card there as well from our bomb. Nice. Very nice. Another angel deal. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Flight and spectral. I don't think spectral means anything to us. Seraphim, though. That's pretty nice. Hey, that's pretty good. Right, let's buy soul heart and then let's take a soul heart and go down. Right, the last shoppy shop. Ooh, probably, probably get Mr. Dolly, yeah. Maybe right now? Ah. Evil bastard. Green pill? Who wants green pill? Prepare to be liberated. This is, this is just so fun. <laughs> just di diving around the room, just absolutely annihilating things. Yeah, I've got a thingy there as well. Though. Battery. Unsure as to exactly how. And the Mr. Dolly fire rate should be pretty crazy. We can have up to 12. Up to 12 um, cracks on the board at once right now. That's kind of crazy. Because only we started with the ability to have two. We've added an additional 10 possibilities. I think that's kind of ludicrous. And exciting. And beautiful. Right, goddamn, we are wrecking these guys up right now. The off screen indicators are so helpful as well. Right, Mr. Dolly, do your thing, do your thing. Mr. Dolly, do your thing. And we'll buy that as well, why not? We can have up to 15 on screen now. Up to 15. And this guy's... This fat shit is sat on one of them. Get off. Holy shit, just look at them all. I can barely walk without touching a crack. We're gonna annihilate the boss, aren't we? We're gonna absolutely destroy him. You, you've been you've been very bigly deaded. Ow. My cracks are not in good places right now. I don't really know where they all are, but... There are some shenanigans going on in this room. Um, I'm very... There's apparently 16 cracks on screen, yet I can't seem to find any of them. At least that did some big damage. Another angel deal. We got very lucky with that angel deals here. Job's family's pretty decent here. I love how lanky we are. Gimme, gimme. I guess I'll just bomb you and see what we get. We did get some nugget bombs, which I will take. They're actually pretty useful for the fight coming up. And I'll get the hell out of here. A hug. And this. Beautiful, got up to full HP. Ten Nugget Bombs available for the fight. Gotta say, that's pretty nice. In a small room like this, 15 is just obscene. 
15 is just silly. Silly numbers. Right. Just plant our bombs everywhere to get our nugget bombs down. It's all nine of them down. Good. Damage output's pretty good so far. For the most part, we can just kind of nonchalantly ignore the boss. Step on the cracks. Do some good damage. Don't like that. Oh, my pretties. Swarm him. Oh, there's someone underneath him. You bastard. Unfortunately, again, the targeting systems we have available to us here aren't particularly advanced, and they will just go for the nearest enemy, which means we are losing a lot of potential damage here and there. Oh, dude. Spinning coins are kind of wrecking me right now. Kind of skating around the room and seeing what I hit. Is he, is he on top of them again? Oh, God. That was just guaranteed damage there, wasn't it? I think he's just on top of them all. Really isn't a fair way to play, my good lad. Yeah, he was. He just stood on top of them all. Kind of a bitch move right there. Cycle protection should kill most of these guys, to be honest. Along with our nuggets. Because the, the Nugget dudes deal our damage. They deal 17 damage a hit. They're actually kind of cracked. They also seem to have Herming, which I'm not quite sure why they do. But I will... Is it? Do you know what I think it might be? I think it might be because I have Smart Bombs and because I used a bomb to fire them. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't have expected the, uh, the bomb effect to inherit like that, but certainly happy that it does. Right, he is dead. That is him gone. That was a really, really wacky run that got really, really fun towards the end there as well. Absolutely loved that. I hope you guys did enjoy. Very fun run indeed. I'll see you guys in the next one.